welcome to USA Championship Wrestling, Casey Gold, alongside Lucky P. Larson. You're still here? And you're still here. That's because I'm I the can't best get rid of you. today. That is not even close. The fans, this Friday night, Bradford, Tennessee, Jerry the King Lawler comes back to Bradford for a big night of USA Championship Wrestling. And Lucky, we've got all kinds of action here today. We've even got a big show coming up on March the 21st, Huge. Omen Arena. Almost as big as Lucky. Almost as big as his ego. Omen Arena, March 21st. Did you Road do that, Warrior but, did you do that right? There. 21st? Are you yes, sure? I did. You're backwards. Not for the camera, I didn't get idiot. Road Warrior Animal will be there. The original Bushwhacker Sheep Herder Luke Williams will be there. And WWE Hall of Famer Ron Simmons Damn. in the house at Omen Arena March the 21st. Fans, we've got a lot of action for you, and we're going to get right to it right after this break. Fans, don't forget, this Friday night, Bradford, Tennessee, Jerry the King Lawler will be there in Kid Wrestling. Where, kid, where in the world have you been? The, right now, where I've been is I'm out. The matter of fact is Bam Bam Bundy. You want to see him? Oh, come on. Yeah, come on. Wait you want to see him, whoa, 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 Right here, and we've still got Bam Bam Bundy out here. He goes along with the he wants. Brothers of Seduction. Well, yeah, but you know what? Guarding kid, the back. Well, look, Kid Cock, I keep his eye on everybody at the same time, so it doesn't really uh, matter. You know, somebody needs to keep an eye on you. Hey, I'm sitting right here. I'm easy to find. Now, Chris Styles. Three, four. Say there's nothing wrong, man. And there, oh. Bam Bam Bundy getting involved. Oh, Kid Cock guy said something to him. And he it doesn't matter himself. what he said. Yes, it does. And I, I heard Bam Bam Bundy right out here said, how did you get out? That's exactly what he That's said. That's not what he said. That is exactly said, what he said. No, it is not. He said, where did you come from? He said, how did you get out? Kid, you're making Kid things up. I am not making things up, I promise you. Oh, yeah, like we're going to believe you. And, well, you. Believe me or believe you. I, I believe me every time. Well, of course you're going to believe yourself. Of course but I am. None of these fans are going to believe it. That's not true. The and, entire Legion of Lucky will believe and, it. Join the Legion of Lucky on Facebook. Over 1,000 followers are growing. And join that Legion of Lemmings that follow him around blindly like a bunch of morons. They're the smartest fans in wrestling, unlike the sheep here. Lucky and P. Larson Esquire on Facebook. You heard it here. Join he, called, he called everybody here sheep. Absolutely. The stupid sheep of the USA Championship Wrestling fandom that follow these pandering yahoos like Kid Wrestling. Uh, kid trapped in that face lock. Oh, and driving Chris Stiles' head. He pulled his hair. Um, oh, an elbow. 1, 2, 20, 40, 60. Come on, you fat penguin, get down and count. And Chris Dahls now raking at the he, man's no, face. He was trying to knock his eye back into place. Well, then why would he be raking his face? He was pulling his eye back into place. He well, was trying to make it fair for him. And Kid Wrestling trapped, but rolls Chris Dahls up. Oh, but only two, a two count. Two. That was only two. Of course it was only a two. Because that's as far as Escobar can count. According to you. Well, that's because that's what it is. I'm and right Chris again. Chris Stiles. See, Chris has got his friends out here, the tag team champions, and my man, the best big man in the he's business, got, Bam Bam Bundy out watching him. He's got people out here to watch his back because he is afraid of Gunner Lane. He's not afraid of anything. Oh, and a drop kick to the back of the head. One, two. And a quick count cover. Come on, you penguin count. Only a two count. And that should have been at least five. Back to that chin lock. You know, I told you Bundy is out here scouting. For all we know, Kid Cockeye's been in some dojo training. He's trying to see if he can Oh, a uh, belly to back suplex. We don't know where he's been. Uh, you don't? Well, no. then why did Bundy ask him how he got out? Maybe because he thought he was sick and, you know, got the coronavirus or something. He was somewhere in a hospital. Still, he wouldn't ask how he got out if he didn't know where he was. Sure. He has nothing to do with it. Oh, and caught 
the knees coming yep. down. Maybe if you hit him in the smart head. Smart move on the part of Chris Styles of to get the knees up. It's because he's a smart wrestler. And Kid crashing into those knees, but Chris Styles unable to capitalize on it. Come on, Chris. And Show Kid cockeyed his balls. Whoa, he missed. And there's that German suplex. Yeah, he hit by the tights when he did it, too. How could you see? Easily, I'm watching the match. I'm not Kid Cockeye. I can actually see what's in front of oh, me. Oh, so you can see through them to the other side. I can see. see what's in front of me. Oh, Just like super I can see Chris Styles knock Kid Cockeye's head off. Maybe his eyes are back in place now. Try kick his head off. That'd be better. That's what I said. No, you said knock. And only oh, a two come count. On. That only was at a least two four. count. See, the brothers of seduction and Bam Bam Bundy were right there telling him it was three. And Chris Styles looked like he was choking him. No, that's not what he was doing. Didn't say it was, said it looked like it. Well, yeah, so you look like a normal human being, doesn't mean you are. And you look like a penguin, but that's beside the point. No, that would be Eskimo. No. You're right, he's more of a hippo. Meanwhile, Chris Styles picks up Kid Cockeye. And sets him up. Looks like he's setting him up oh, for that cradle pile driver. Good night. He is dead. And drop Kid oh, right on top Oh, he's going to do it again. Head. Yes, please. Oh, my One gosh. more. That'd There's be beautiful. no need yes, there is. for all that. For what? Do, maybe oh, and he'll, now They all do it on the floor even better. And look out. Oh, see, Gunner see, Lane. See, attacking from behind out of again. Nowhere. Attacking from behind again. He put his hands on somebody in this match. That should be a DQ. Well, he pulled Kid back in the ring. That he has no and business now, being in this match. Bam Bam Bundy up on the apron. Chris Styles on the outside. You know, the I Brothers did, of Seduction. I did okay in math. I'm pretty sure this is uh, four on two. Well, it looks like these guys are going at it. Yeah. And Let's see kid, about the numbers game here. Kid wrestling. Look out, Nate Starr, Big Gravy. Now, who asked for there to get involved? And well, who asked for the Brothers of Seduction to they get were involved? They're already out here. And oh, Bam Bam Bundy with a chop, and I can't even see through all the wall of people. Joining me now, Nathan Starr and Nathan, what? Oh, Lord. No, no, how dare you? How dare you hit me in the face with roses? How dare you cloak your love for me with an attack that cost me my match? I don't know what you're talking about, dude. You do know what I'm talking about. You don't remember hitting me in the face with those roses, costing me the match I had at one. I remember seeing you lose a match, but I don't remember anything other that you're speaking of. Well, let me tell you something. I see something go one, two, three, and no, you... No, no, that's not how it happened. No, no, you cheated. You cheated. You are not a real man, Nate Starr. I am. I am. Yeah. You couldn't even beat the guy that's been beat a hundred times. You lost to an up and comer. What does that lucky. mean? You? He got lucky. He got lucky. He got lucky. What does that say to you? You can't even beat an up and comer. What are you talking about? I'm the best wrestler at USA Championship Wrestling. And you should know that. That's exactly what I am. That's exactly what I am. Listen, you little bitch. Oh. Okay? I'm not gonna keep taking you. I'm about to just knock you. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. I'm getting out of here. So, is this what you call a lover's? Lover's quarrel? Uh, I don't think so. I think this is what you call Dylan McQueen pushing his luck. And he's, he's screaming like a little baby. And he is running out of here. It is always an honor to be joined by the Southern Heavyweight Champion, Toby Farley. And Toby, you've been defending that title all over the USA area to a multitude of worthy contenders. How are you feeling after such a time? Well, I gotta tell you, it's been a blast. 
But as much as I love this conversation, KC, what I really want to know is, where is Matt Starr? Yes, where is he? Yes, I have no idea. Last I heard, he was on vacation. <laughs> Honcho Hensley. Listen up, you sloppy jalopy. You don't have to worry about Matt Starr because I'm right here in front of you. Why don't we make something a little interesting? Title versus title. Wait a minute. You're, you're asking to challenge the USA heavyweight title against the Southern heavyweight champion. Is it really a challenge if it's Toby Farley? You ain't got to ask me twice. There's the ring. Let's go. Hey, why don't you hold these? I've held these many times. Well, you can just sit there with him for a while. I'll hold this again Toby soon. Toby Farley, the Southern Heavyweight Champion, taking on the USA Heavyweight Champion. Would you like me to tell Tom you Joe all that I've managed and have won this belt? No, you don't need to do all that. Uh, right now, because at this point, those don't matter. These two matter. They are the current champions. They are. Here in USA Championship Wrestling. Until Bam Bam Bundy decides to challenge one of them. Uh, until maybe he earns a, a earns, earns. He's a former champion, earns. and he's beaten everybody from one end of the state to the other. And Toby Farley catching those boots, whips him around, but Honcho able to reverse oh, it he with a head scissors. And that pump kick. Oh, and a nip up. Look at that. And one, right for two. a very nonchalant cover. Yeah, he still almost had him. Oh, and that headbutt right to the jaw puts Toby Farley on the mat. So is this officially a title for title match? I, you know, it has not been confirmed, yay or nay, whether this is a title versus title match. Nobody, nobody said it was sanctioned. It was just asked for a match between the two champions. Oh my and, oh, gosh. What a series of chops. I think he caved in his chest. Oh. And uh, that one very well might have caved in the chest of Hush. This is a chop fest. And oh, what a shot to the throat. Yep, good Greco-Roman throat chop. More like a throat punch, which is what I wish somebody would do to you. You know, I have never wished you harm. That is a lie. It's not. That is a lie. And look. And Honcho using the tape from around his wrist. It started to come off. He couldn't help it. And he had him in a he, chin lock, and you know. He, he could help loose. grabbing it to choke him with it. You go, what you got? Oh, a kick right to the midsection, and now Toby Missed. Farley sidesteps. Yep, and, and spine oh. buster right in the middle of the ring. That poor logo. Yeah, it tends to get beat up quite it a bit. It does, doesn't it? Kind of like you. Hey, Coco, how you what? doing? What? Would you stop that? Oh, absolutely not. And Toby Farley, with that fireman carry, roll through into the ribs. You know, he could call that a Farleyman's carry. Uh, yeah, probably not. Yeah. And Toby Farley making his way up top. High rent district. And High risk maneuver. And he missed a swanton Miss. You know, that's like the third or fourth time in the last few weeks. Oh, what a shot. Has tried a With a point of that knee. And missed. But only, what are these it's, two? It's, it's Ray. It is. And me, Mike. Mike Diamond, Timmy Diamond. Hey, Ray can go wherever he wants. And, uh-oh. Toby Farley. Reach. Which, which guy they're here to scout. Well, I would imagine they're here to scout Toby for Matt Starr is what I would figure. Maybe Toby, see, Toby's actually looking at them, calling them out. Well, Maybe he called them out here. I don't think so. You don't know, though, do you? I don't know for absolute sure and certain, but oh, what a shot that with a that knee, knee right to the chin, but only able to get a two count on the USA Heavyweight Champion. And oh, oh, see, I can't tell what Ray's going to do. You never know what Ray's uh, going to do. You got to watch these two. Look out. And right into the match, these yep. two just interfering 
I'm going to go on a limb here and say that they're not here to help Toby. Uh, you know, I don't think that's much of a limb. Of course, it, of course it's also possible that maybe, you know, they disqualified got Toby, you know, a win by DQ because they were afraid he was going to lose his title. Well. Well, there's uh, Honcho showing uh, Toby his belt and saying, my belt is bigger than well, yours. Well, Honcho. Uh-oh, this is going to hurt. Setting up. That Toby Farley oh, for that package oh, pile driver. On the belt. I, I want to bring out some very special guests right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to bring out the USA Tag Team Champions, the, the Brothers, Brothers of Seduction. Man, do they look good. It is a pleasure to have them out here. Guys, you just made USA Championship Wrestling must-see TV, if I can use that line. But guys, we have the greatest tag team ever, and I want to graciously thank both of y'all for having my back earlier and making sure we get rid of Kid Cockeyed, Kid Wrestling, whatever name he wants to go by. But I have a question for you guys. What is the deal with y'all and Danny Dollar? You see, people call the Brothers of Seduction a lot of things. Champion. Champion. Champions. The greatest. Sexy. Prince. Talented. Lover. Uh, well equipped. Yeah. <laughs> but one thing you never call the Brothers of Seduction are liars. We did exactly what we said we'd do to Danny Dollar last week. Yep. You beat him, one, two, three. See, the thing is, Danny Dollar is just jealous, just like all these fans in this arena today are jealous of the Brothers of Seduction because we look like we should be gracing the cover of Men's Magazine. Well, guys, can I, can I get a favor from y'all? Can y'all please end USA Championship Wrestling correctly today and entertain the masses of the USA Network? That's easy. Uh, fans, we are back on USA Championship Wrestling with our main event, the Brothers of Seduction, Cam the Prince, and Jake the Mother Lover Tucker, careful, taking on Justin Savage and Big Gravy. Unfortunately, was that not the greatest yeah. interview in the history of USA Championship Wrestling? No, not even close. I mean, me and Bundy, we bring class, don't we? Uh, if you leave off the CL, yeah. That's not very nice. I didn't say I was nice. No, you're not. Oh, and up oh, and over. what a move. And oh. power slam. Two, three, four, Great five. Great teamwork. Yep, see, and you can tell me Scott Stevens is not slow getting down there. I told you he's got a bone. Uh-huh. Maybe he should borrow Danny Dollar's knee brace. Well, kind of like you having a bone brain. Hey, I'm smarter than the average bear. And that ain't saying much about the average bear. Nope. Hey, wait a and minute. Oh, teamwork. Beautiful, beautiful from the team. USA Tag Team Champion. Yes, they are. And you know, I, I have said time and time again, these guys have worked and worked and worked, and they have great teamwork. They're both very skilled wrestlers yes. individually. Yes. And it, it's the attitude, it's the arrogance, it's that the puts ego them over the top. That that drives people crazy with these guys. There is no reason. They don't have to take the shortcuts. But they do anyway, and that's what's so good about it. Right, and so you're you're saying taking shortcuts is great. Absolutely. If you can get it done easier with less work, why the hell not? Well, th there are things called character. You yeah, know? you are a character. Uh, I'm a character. Yep. Uh, pot, meat, kettle. These guys were trained by some of the best. And oh, that is not a doubt. Straight out of the Jacobs Pritchard Wrestling Academy. Yep. Up in Knoxville. Yep. And Justin Savage. Did you know that uh, a couple months ago in Dixon, Tennessee, I led Christian James to a victory over one of those brilliant, well-trained, well-respected veterans? Oh, what a DDT out of the turnbuckles. That's what I thought. I knew that. Actually, I did know that. Because you know what? I was there. So was I at ringside when my guy uh, won. I, I, yeah, you won. I, I, remember, I, I remember that Christian won. Yep. I, I do remember that. I do remember, too, that uh, Dr. Tom 
had something to say to you. I don't want to talk about that. And I want to talk about the fact that Jay Tucker is going to get uh, smashed in the corner by Big Gravy. He needs a shower. And a kick can from you, Gravy. Can you imagine the horrific consequences if Big Gravy wins, oh! The, oh, wins this match? Uh, gravy splash right in the middle of the ring. They would have to make the titles bigger just to get around Gravy's waist. They'd have to put an extension on it. Yes. And Big Gravy going to work on the USA Tag Team Champions. And now Cam the Prince on the outside. Look, this and is a double team, an illegal oh, double team. A double shot. Illegal. Kind of like a, a double scoop of gravy there. Oh, please. Are you and trying to make Justin sense? Justin Savage with that splash in the corner. And now charging in. Oh, that didn't nobody work. home. Nope, that did not work. Jake Tucker able to move out of the way, and now look at that slide. Smart. He crawled slide. out of the ring, crawled back in the ring, and made a tag. Oh, and a Knocked shot down to Big Gravy. gravy. And here and it comes. Say it with me. The weapon of mass seduction. And a cover from One, Cam the two, Prince. Three. And the winners of the match. And still. USA Tag Team Champions, the Brothers of Seduction.